Okay, fiber disc of which we have. This is actually a traction disc. It's out of a transmission. Uh, usually there are multiple discs and separators in between and they have hydraulic pressure 90% of the time which compresses them. It's like a clutch and they're mostly wet clutches which grab and adhere and with the teeth inside actually spin here. Now, change to the first question. All right, is it within thickness specifications? If you look at the specifications here, it's approximately 133 thousandths of an inch. Now, we're going to take a micrometer. Okay, if you can see the graduation lines, that's 100. And the first little small line is 25 plus 5 thousandths and another thousandths. That is 131 and a half thousandths. Approximately 130 to 131 and a half thousandths. Okay, you have a tolerance of 127 to 133. So it's right in the middle of the specification. Piston usually on these if you go by this you've got return springs of which push the piston back therefore releasing these clutch discs letting them float within oil so they'll stop turning okay teeth showing excessive wear they show minimal wear if they had excessive wear they would come up like a shark's tooth a point so that's within specification Okay, if you, <coughs> this disc can be used either in B1, B2 pack. If you go down here, that B1, B2 disc, okay, B1, B2 piston return plates. Okay, springs. Yeah, you can use them B1 and B2. Yeah, both of them, you can, these will be used on. Okay, this disc can be used on, or used again. If you look, you'll see a little burnishing. And there are little pieces missing out of the facing, right here. All right, that's going to reduce the amount of surface application, therefore reducing the amount of actual transfer of power. It can cause slippage. And that, that's all on our friction disc.